Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, Redbubble series. This um, video is actually going to be an update to an previously updated video I did on how to easily upload your images and start selling on Redbubble. The reason for this is because uh, Redbubble has actually uh, added a few new more you know, new image uh, products for the offering and I wanted to take you through how my process of how I do it you know how I resize images to fit the product and uh, how I enable and disable products. So before we get started you're obviously going to need a Redbubble account uh, it's free to sign up I will place a link uh, in the description so you can go and sign up yourself then you log in and then you go to click on this uh, avatar here and then you look for this add new work now for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to do the copy uh, an existing work. I'm going to go straight to this upload new work. So I'm going to open up this and drag this image in here. Give it a title. Now for the purpose uh, of this video, I'm just going to rush through this. And it's recommended to at least do 10 to 15 tags. Uh, I'm just going to quickly rush through this as, uh, sorry, I'm going to quickly rush through this for the purpose of this video. You can do more if you wish, but as long as they're relevant and describe the, the image, that's, that's good. So I'm going to leave that for now. Give a description, it really does help uh, in SEO and also people like to read uh, the story behind the images and it'll, it'll draw them in, it'll want them to you know, feel comfortable in buying the product uh, uh, this image is going to be attached to. The, um, so uh, I'm just going to say colorful full photo of city Melbourne. To fix that up. Okay. Now, just quickly um, browsing through, you can see some of the images or some of the products are disabled. That's because the image hasn't properly, uh, in a scaled and fit the uh, the product. So we're going to go through each one and try and fix it. Now, generally, I don't do much in clothing with my photography. Uh, sorry, just, just one thing I need to um, make you aware. If you want to sell kids' clothing or kids' um, T-shirts, by default, I found that they are not enabled. So you have to go into the standard print clothing and go into this tab and then enable them so that your image can be attached to uh, kids' clothing and toddler. Uh, clothing by default they're not so you just you got to make sure you enable it just thought I'll point that out to you if you want to sell uh, kids clothing now I'm just going to go through each one I usually don't put it on any of these t-shirts or uh, the uh, dresses uh, I'm happy with that way with the way it looks on the magnet there is a little bit of a gap here so what I would do is generally fill um, Oh no, there isn't, sorry, my fault, there isn't anything there. Uh, that's just uh, how it looks like on my screen. Um, now, you can always adjust a few things within the product, the image within the product. For example, you can adjust the scale, the size of the image to fit the product. And you can move the image to uh, to fit the way you want it to fit on the, on the product. So, I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep it to that. I'm going to click uh, out of the um, ex uh, edit. Now I'll come back to these ones here, uh, these ones here, and this one here. Now this one here, as you can see, it doesn't fill the whole product. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to fill it with the black background. See, I like it like that now with the little black background. Um, not to worry about the leggings, I usually don't. I don't worry about the mini skirts or the scarves. Again, as you can see, this. It doesn't, it doesn't fill the whole uh, product, so I'm just going to fill that with the black background. 
Or another thing I can do is I can make it as a repeating um, pattern. I'm bringing it down a little bit. And now you can look at the product here, and if I move move it, you can see that it's repeated itself uh, in the product. Don't like it too much, so I'm just going to put it back to full 100% and go to none, and leave a little black in you know, a borders around it. Uh, draw strings. Again, uh, I'm going to fill it with black. Now you can make your image fit uh, the entire product by getting the correct dimensions of the product so if you have a problem some of the some of the products have this here uh, problems with your image size so you click on it and what this page does it gives you the dimensions of the product so let's go for example the uh, the drawstring bag so the drawstring bag are these dimensions so what you do now is you would go into a uh, image editor. I, I usually use Photoshop, and I would create an I would create a, uh, a, a file with these dimensions, drag in the, my image, and resize it to fit to fit these dimensions. Now I will show you how to do that uh, very shortly. So I'm going to enable that. So see this enable disable button. That's how you can enable or disable a product. When they're grayed out, that means they're disabled. When they have this green um, color to the button, it means it's enabled. With this one as well, I'm going to um, I'm going to enable it, and I'm going to uh, fill a black background around it. This one looks fine. I'm just going to enable it. So I'm going to have a look at by going into edit. Yeah, I'm 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 happy with that. That's fine. I'm just going to put a black background anyway, just in case, and click on edit. Now the clock I'm going to leave. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'll come back to these, and I'll come back to this tote bag. Happy with it. Socks. I'm not going to worry about it. I usually don't put my photography on mini clothing. Maybe on a t-shirt at the top, um, like this. Or these two. Now I can move these as well within here to go to the top like that, and this one too. And I can choose a default color. I want to display this in. I can go with black, and that'll be the first color or the default color people will see when they see this uh, image on this product. So let's, let's keep going down. Are these now? As I mentioned before, uh, Adobe's uh, Redbubble has uh, uh, enabled a couple of new products, and these are the new products: the masks, the backpacks. The duffel bags, the aprons, and the jigsaw puzzles. Now, um, the mask looks fine. I'm just going to enable that. I, I, I like the way, uh, way it, um, the image fits in there. I'm just going to move it a bit. Now, with the backpack, I can do a couple of things. I can go in uh, to my image editor, create a, um, a file with these dimensions. Drag my image into it, resize it to fit those dimensions, and then replace the image. But sometimes I also do is I create a pattern, an offset pattern, and I move my image around. But and let's have a look at the product at the same time to to try to make it you know look nice or fit seamless, slim, seamlessly. I like the way it looks now, so I'm going to enable it. I like that. I like the way it looks. I'm going to do the same for the duffel bag. I recommend obviously you create a, an image with these dimensions, but for the purpose of this video, and sometimes I do do this, I I just uh, choose a pattern, and I just move it around, and yeah, I just like the way it looks on there. Aprons, I generally leave it alone. I don't um, enable that, but again, if you would like to uh, create an image with these dimensions and uh, replace uh, the image, the current image with this with this new one. A jigsaw. I'll come back to it. So let's start with these now. The um, throw blankets. Uh, this image I've already made it in Photoshop. So here is my throw um, blanket tapestry. I uh, go to image size. 
have uh, made the the file in, in with this with the dimensions given by Redbubble. I um, dragged my image into this file and I, I I guess resized the image to fit that file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Redbubble and I'm going to replace it because I've already got it here. Uh, here it is here. As you saw, uh, the naming convention, you can name it whatever you like. That's just my naming convention. I've also got one for the bat mat. So I'm just going to go in here and go to bat mats right there. I've got one for the wood and canvas mats as well. So I'm just going to go in there and do that. And I've also got one for the jigsaw puzzle. So I've, I've made an image with these dimensions. I'm going to replace it. And go to jigsaw puzzle. So while they are uploading, now I've I generally I could be doing the wrong thing here, but I generally use uh, uh, the shower curtain with the same image I credit for the tapestry and. It seems to work. I've had no issues with it. Um, so I'm going to go in here. I've also made one for the floor uh, floor pillow. So I'm going to click on that. Replace that image. Right there. So now they're all uploading. Just want to. So now that's finished uploading, I'm going to enable that because it was disabled before. What else? Just having a look at everything. Obviously, if you want to make the clock, you can go to edit. You can sometimes they give you the actual PSD template. So you can download this and then put your image into the template and save it as a, a PNG file. I use, I always upload uh, my images as PNG files. So I'm just waiting for these to finish. Once they finish, uh, I go here and choose the media. It's photography. Uh, these are these collections are categories I made for my store. I've also made a video on how to make these categories. So uh, I'll place the link to that in the description as well, so you can check it out. So I'm going to choose two. I'm going to choose a fresh, uh, new, because it's a uh, new image or new products I'm adding with this image, and I'm going to uh, um put it under the Melbourne at night category. Then the default view on how you want the, def the initial uh, you know, product you want the, your, your buyer to see. You can leave it as optimized and what it does is Redbubble will change it each time someone comes to uh, see this image on a product, it'll show the different images. But I, I generally choose either framed print or I generally go with metal print. I've been in recently. I've been using metal print a lot more, to be honest with you. Then I choose no, not mature, and then obviously you got to always. Uh, this is a required. You got to. Um, it's a disclaimer. You got to uh, click on um, check that. So I'm just going to go through it quickly. Make sure it's all uploaded. Oh. Yep. So as you can see, this grayed out ones means the products are disabled, so they won't appear in your store. If you want to enable them, just click on enabled. Uh, and then quickly again, uh, resizing an image within the product, you can do that by, by clicking on the image itself and moving them around, or you can set the scale. Or you can set a pattern, uh, your image has a repeating pattern uh, on the product. So that's it guys, I'm just now going to click on save. And what this does now is it will take you to another page where it will show you all the products you've enabled for this image uh, that will show up in your store. And then what you can do is then download the individual products for uh, promoting. I've also made a video for that and I will place uh, the link to that uh, as well in the, um, the uh, description section. So I'm just waiting for that to load.
here we go so it's showing me all the product all the product <coughs> I've enabled and then if you want to uh, say you want to um, promote this this particular one uh, the iPhone snap case you click on here and you can download a particular um, image to uh, you can, for you to uh, uh, upload to your social media or website and like I said I made a video for that I will put it in the description section that's it guys I hope um, you got something out of that um, like I said it's free to join uh, Redbubble you got nothing to lose it's just another way of making a little passive income uh, of, of your photography your your designs um, feel free to comment uh, below um, you know with any feedback any suggestions a link to your store I'm happy to check out your store and start following you um, I'm always happy to hear from you guys um, if you're new to my channel please um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you like this video you know give us a thumbs up um, it'll, it'll help and yeah thanks for watching